you've been a strong critic of the BBC, and particularly for its cultural output, which David was raising. Yeah. With. I mean, what, what's your take on all of this? Well, it, yeah, can I just uh, pick David up on, on that, the, the, the climate change point? The, 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 for some considerable time now, the BBC has refused to give airspace to, to so-called climate deniers, i.e. people who, who are, are sceptical about the quality of the science, suggesting that we're all going to hell in a handcart mm -hmm. because of this thing called man-made global warming. Um, I think it's a complete journalistic failure um, because actually the issue is, is still very much open for de debate and I, don't, I, I, I would um, disagree strongly with, with the notion that it's scientists who know everything versus deniers who know nothing, which is what you were kind of, kind of implying. Nevertheless, I think the bigger problem with the BBC is to do with things that aren't to do with, with current affairs. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that you, you cannot watch, for example, a BBC drama now without seeing this tick box um, United Colours of Benetton casting, for example. It, there was, uh, what was that, what was the one about the bodyguard, where mm -hmm. the, spi the, the sniper teams had, had black female snipers. Now you show me a black female sniper anywhere in, in, in London, I'll, I'll be very impressed. Um, you notice these things, the, Doctor Who, is now so impossibly woke that it's it's gone broke basically but but this happens across the board you cannot find bbc drama that doesn't play this game so i i would agree that that party politics maybe it, it, it does strive to impartial to be impartial but in terms of the culture wars the bbc is very much on the liberal left woke social justice warrior side of the argument i suppose the question is how much that interferes with quality uh, for example there, there are things that have been weaker, like perhaps the War of the Worlds, which I think was very broadly rubbished, and then Dracula, which is pretty equally woke in many yeah. ways. But a lot of people thought that it was really quite good, at least the, the well, earlier. Well, yeah, yeah, it had, it had its moments. But it, the, the the first episode where it, where it was sort of gothic was fine. The second one was Agatha Christie was was, was less good. The mm. third one it was Doctor Who was absolute pants. Um, another example, I suppose, would be the adaptation of Les Miserables. Now this is where the BBC is going. So you had um, a, uh, a black Inspector Javert. Mm -hmm. Well, it, the, the book was written in, in the 1830s, or set in the 1830s rather. I don't believe that it, it, it is at all implausible that you'd have a black police inspector in 1830s France. Now you, you may say, well of course we, we move with the times and, and, and things change. Well in that case, why didn't they have wind farms in the background? Why didn't they have um, TV aerials or whatever? Because TV drama, classic t TV drama, drama, is ultimately about verisimilitude. You're trying to recreate a period, the look of the, of the period. Mm. Um, the BBC is failing to do that. So it is, it is sacrificing um, entertainment value and, and verisimilitude for woke. Netflix is quite woke. Um, uh, woke, -ish. woke yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very Sky News, it doesn't Channel trigger, 4, doesn't trigger me in the same way yeah. that the BBC does. But, but, it, but, but it's, not clear, it's not clear that it, the market would, would completely reject those things as long as maybe I think the, I think quality. the BBC I, I, I think you're right I, th I think the BBC would definitely shift its entertainment output in a less woke direction because well Doctor Who is such a good example it, mm. it's just it's died on its feet it, it, it could never survive in a commercial environment because well, it wouldn't have the BBC to bankroll it, it wouldn't have the viewers to support it. Well, the B, uh, Doctor Who in general could. It's a, it's a great brand and, a, and an amazing sort of. Um, they've pretty much they've pretty much killed killed the brand. I mean, yeah. they've 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 pretty much given us a sort of black female James Bond, haven't they? They've done the equivalent thereof. <laughs> well, I haven't seen but the thing. It way, was when sorry. it first launched. It was quite good. It was you know it had learned from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and what. The, we're talking, we're talking way, but look, look I, I totally agree that the, the one about this, the statues, Blink, that, um, yeah. that could get, get you, was great, but it had a, but, but even then, that was created by Stephen Moffat, mm. who, who, who is, is now the godfather of Woke. They, they've, definitely our culture has, has, has embraced this kind of identity politics, cultural Marxism thing uh, at, a, at a very rapid and accelerating rate. And I think that you know, what, what may have been true 10 years ago ain't true now. The BBC is is over. One thing I wanted to mention, um, one of the few good things on the BBC is um, Eggheads, that quiz show. And I understand that the BBC is really bothered by Eggheads, the fact that it's mostly watched by older people and they're thinking of scrapping it just because the audience don't fit into the right profile. Now what kind of institution? We, we shouldn't be supporting an institution like that. That's, that's wrong. Of course, um, journalism um, and uh, the arts are both very left-wing professions sort of by their nature. It's hard to see 
even if you change a few people at the top of the BBC, would that would that really make a difference? No, I think change? I think the BBC is is screwed beyond measure. Um, and actually, <laughs> I just want it I want it burnt to the ground, and I want the earth salted. Um, <laughs> there is there is there is no hope. There, oh, but we're not going to get that. So so at least let's expose people it. People do love it. It's expose it. Well, some well, people do. Do, I, I, do they really? Do who, they really? Who loves it? Well, they don't trust it as much as they do. But but sort of half the, the public still trusts it. But that's. Yeah. It's not exactly love, yeah. perhaps, but you know, it's it's seen as a people are pressure, slow, an institution. Slow to notice things, aren't they? Because because it's still got it's still got the same initials, BBC. Yeah. It's still got the same shaped programmes more mm -hmm. or less. So people think, well it must be the same. It does thing. many fine things. The world service is still pretty good. If an organisation gets billions of pounds a year, it's bound to do something good with it. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. not rather right. too impressive in the context. But